Hey folks, this is Andy Shiles with Simply Trade. We're at AIAG. We got to be up here because of MIC Customs has uh, been a sponsor for us and has done a great job with that. So we thank MIC. With that, we have Caleb. Now, what's your last name? Uh, Caleb Ashelman. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, it's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, who are you with? I'm with Rivian ah, okay. in, in their trade compliance department. I'm an import manager for them. So where are you based out of? Uh, Central Illinois near our plant location. Okay. Okay. I am familiar with Rivian because uh, in my one of my former jobs, uh, y'all were using uh, ATA Carnets and doing testing uh, in South America all the way driving up a your EV all the way up into North America through the desert and whatnot. Look, that is one tough little truck. It, it is an awesome vehicle, our truck and our SUV, and yeah, lots of uh, customs and, and unique experiences there. I've, I've worked for another OEM in the past, and uh, the biggest difference with Rivian is you know, you're know you setting up all the customs processes for the first time, and so it's a, a awesome learning ex or opportunity to kind of take you know, all of the legacy experience I had at a different OEM and, and apply it to the new topics in trade and, and kind of how it works for a, a new company like so many other EV companies out there. Outstanding. Again, folks, if, if you're not familiar with Rivian, Rivian is an all-electric vehicle. There's SUVs and pickups, right? Yep. And uh, they're, they're nice little vehicles. Uh, of course, you guys are pretty proud of those. They got a nice little price tag to it. We we've got a we've got a new model coming out in uh, early 2026. That's going to be a little bit smaller in form mm -hmm. factor and and a little bit lower in cost. So exciting times for sure. So we're at the AIAG conference here, and uh, what do you hope to gain out of attending this conference? It is a very exciting and interesting time, and I, I'll say even week in trade. So hoping to get some insights on you know what types of trade uh, changes are coming, what the uh, impact of the election is going to be on you know the regulatory space and things like that. I don't think anyone knows the answers for sure, but it's a group effort and a community effort to see what everyone does know and how we can all work together to navigate these changes. Well, outstanding, outstanding. So how long have you been in uh, the trade? You look pretty young. I, I do, you? I know, I, I look young, uh, but I, I am, have been in trade compliance for 10 years now. So I, I started while I was still in college at uh, Caterpillar, had some time there oh, well, in there trade you, compliance. You some good experience with Caterpillar. Yeah, had, had a, lots to learn there and uh, uh, the definitely the opportunities to do so. So spent some time there, spent some time at Ford and have been at Rivian for two and a half years. Hey folks, one of the things that comes to mind when talking with Caleb, it is so important to develop your people, but here's something else. People get worried about developing them and they go to somewhere else, but here's the thing. Your legacy then is spread out amongst other companies. So that's one good thing that as you're learning, gaining experience, getting training, um, don't be afraid to develop your people. And that sounds like one of the best things. You've gotten some good hands-on experience with these other companies. I have had lots of opportunities only because of all of the you know time and effort that people, starting all the way back at Caterpillar, put into helping me develop my skills. And even to this day, I work with a number of people I used to work with at Caterpillar. Yeah. Even though many of us are at different companies now, mm -hmm. it's uh, a network that's kind of grown and very exciting. Outstanding. Well, Caleb, I uh, appreciate you uh, talking with us. Uh, with AIAG, um, the key thing there, too, is your takeaways with this. And be interesting to do a follow-up uh, maybe later in the day, say, any surprises or any uh, key takeaways you're going to look at them. So I yeah, that. sounds good. Hey, with that, again, AIAG, uh, thank you, MIC Customs, and to all the other sponsors here, this is worth coming to it because this is a great conference.